what is up everybody welcome back to coast guy adventures today we're going to have a beautiful day i'm still at grace uh glacier national park and i am going to be riding the red bus today and that's going to be fun it's going to be fun and now if you want to go to if you want to do the red bus tour it is at uh glacier red bus tour and that's where you're going to get all your information on going to to ride on the red buses that you see in the glacier national park the prices do vary depending on where they pick you up like for me because i'm not starting at um say st, st. mary uh, no the mini glaciers so since i'm not starting at the mini glaciers i'm actually starting where i'm at which is like 80 dollars for me it, it 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 is different from spot to spot and also the um the different tours that they do give out so there's different parts. There's different parts to the tours. It's all up to you on which ones you wanna do. And the children do get in cheaper. But like I said, it all depends on where you're starting at at your location. Now I'm actually starting at Johnson's RV Park um, Campground. So I only had to pay $80 and it's all to like nine. Well, they're picking me up at 9.45 a.m. in the morning, which is it's right there. <laughs> My pickup is right here. So that's the good part about um, being here is that my pickup is right down, right down the street. I would, I would say street. I would say this right down the access from my campground. I, like it's only like a, a five minute walk. I don't have to really do much. All I, like, my car has been sitting in this location since Saturday and I haven't moved it yet. I'm trying to save up my gas. It's not, it's, it's very expensive out here. It's like I say, if you don't have to move the car, you can just do it that way. But other than that, Going to take the bus tour it's going to be fun it's going to be a chill day because right now my legs are not in the greatest shape because i just did the highland trail yesterday and and then i did the loop trail to get down all the way to the shuttle bus and that wasn't fun to do so my legs are a little bit trash but today is going to be a chill day and i'm gonna let somebody else do the driving on going to the sun road so let's get started <music> Okay, so from what I was told about the Red Bus Tour, because they're having, um, their system went down. Their system went down, and I kind of noticed that it was something weird yesterday, that the Red Bus was kind of running a little late yesterday. I was like, it's kind of weird for them, starting out late. So from what was told, when I kind of called up, because I'm still here, and I've been here since 9 o'clock, so I know the bus didn't pass or anything, because it's supposed to come in at 9.45. So, so the system went down. And because of that, they have to check every drop off, I mean, the pickup to pretty much see if anybody's there. So that's what they're doing. And so now I'm still waiting for the red bus <laughs> to get here because they have to. So I could be waiting a little bit, probably till 11 o'clock to be picked up because it's that bad. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> But we're gonna see how far this goes because they say I'm still on the list. It's just that it's gonna take a little bit longer because they gotta go to every drop off and see if they can, you know, see if anybody's at those drop offs. So this is where I'm at right now, waiting. <laughs> but they said I'm still on the list, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so sad news is the bus never came. Their system is so jacked up that either A, they said they're supposed to ride to every stop to pick up and see if there's anybody there. But apparently the lady has never picked me up. So I, I, what I'm probably, so I, I, I don't know. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna refund me my money. Um, they, they said they were really sorry. Just, she, they said, if, she, if you've been there for two hours, that person, the, the, the bus driver is not coming. It's just, or the system is really down and they just, it's just, it's just a hot mess right now. And now it's, it's kind of sad. And I'm actually gonna go to the Mary Lodge at the end. I wanna see if, cause I know they go there. And I wanna see if anybody got picked up there from the red bus. Cause then I can tell, then I can tell she never did came and got, and, and, and never came to get, to come pick me up. 
person never came to come pick me up. And that just that, that right there is just messed up. Which I have a funny feeling that that's what probably what happened. But I, I don't know. I might just um, just take a shuttle up to the to Logan Pass or something and just do something there. I don't know. I have to just figure it out what I'm going to do <laughs> for today because you know my day was kind of really supposed to be for the Red Bus and now it's like you know it kind of sucks. <laughs> But and you can't go on any other hikes because all the parking spots are all filled up at this point. So you really can't do nothing right now. So it, 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 that that little thing kind of really kind of messes your day up. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go straight down, walk it, and maybe hop on the shuttle, the free shuttle, go into the Sun Road, and call, go from there. So I mean, it, so that's I can do something. It ain't everything, but it, it's something. Okay, so I did talk to like the tour buses. And these guys are from the west side. So they're two different types of, um, when we were doing the reservations, the west and the east are totally different from each other. So they're, they're actually with a private group and they ran, were running, he said they did their system was down too and they was given a piece of paper and told them to pretty much pick up everybody from every stop. So the east side apparently just didn't, didn't do any anything they were told. And apparently um, they just, Either, either they weren't working or the, that they weren't coming at all. So it just kind of sucks. It kind of sucks that they just, you know, <laughs> the east side of this part kind of sucks. So I'm going to just probably take the shuttle in, you know, and call it a day. And another thing I would like to say about the Red Bus is if the system is down, it's going to be down for like a minute. Don't think about, oh, it'll be better. It'll be working on the next day. Don't think that way. Just do something. Just get your money back and do something else because it's not worth it at that point to waste another day thinking that your tour is going to be, a, you know, be a full go the next day. Don't waste your time on it. Just keep on going at that point in time. So, like, that's like I was like, I was like, maybe, they, you know, I was thinking of doing it tomorrow. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to waste that day because I'm going to go to the mini glaciers and I'm not I'm just not in the mood to waste another day for the red bus so if it ain't if it wasn't working for that day it ain't gonna work the next day or the day after that so just don't don't waste your time just keep on moving and because when the system's down the system's down and they don't they're not even going to tell you anything or call you or do anything like that or just you know just cancel your trip out of it they don't say anything to you so you're, you're gonna have to do more of the work of figuring out you know what's happening on their on their on their end and I had to sit there and call twice, and then they and then they finally just said they ain't, they're not coming, they're not coming, and you've been waiting there for like almost I've been waiting there for almost three hours, to, to you know I've been there for like nine o'clock, and it was like eleven forty. <laughs> I like forget it at that point, so I'm a little disappointed, a little, a little bit angry at the same time, but I'm gonna take the free shuttle. I mean at least I know that's gonna come, hopefully, um, but it's just it just really does suck. <laughs> And just to add on to the information in the video, um, the West, if you do call up, the West and the East are, like I said, they, they're different. So the West was running pretty much without a beat, even though their system was down, but the East does, does not do it. Now, when I did ask the, the driver on the West side, he, he kind of said like, oh, the East side, like, yeah, about the East side. When a driver says something like that, we all been at work before. We all know like, yeah, about that. That means that it's an ongoing situation that the East side just hasn't gotten fixed. Like there, there, this issue has been done before, like where they don't come at all to pick up people. So if you are going to do the red bus, do not do the East side, stick with the West side. Cause apparently they were running like clockwork. The East side pretty much wasn't even trying. They did not pick me up. I had to call. I, I had to, you know, and then I had to get transferred, transferred to even get to the east side. It's not a direct line to the east side from the red bus. And so if you're going to do the red bus, just don't do the east side. I'm telling you right now, don't waste your time on it to do the east side. Uh, try to do the west side because I think that one starts at um, Lake McDonald and go from there um, and take your chances there. But in my opinion, I'm going to give the Red Bus a three out of five stars because it's under the same umbrella. The Red Bus East and West, it's under the same umbrella. 
and there's and they and whoever's in management need to get it corrected of the east and the west should be running smoothly whether the system is down or not if one side did it perfectly the other side should be on the same boat i don't care what anything says you're wasting a day coming to the glacier national park out of your trip and that's the problem a perfect day was almost wasted luckily the boat ride was was for me that if you want to go on a tour at least the boat ride is going to be there for you i mean it's not crazy raining out there the boat ride for me on the boat tour and if you um you can see that video um that ride actually saved the day um when the when the red bus did not go through so i'm gonna give the red bus a three out of three out of five stars i would have been a two out of five stars but the west side was running perfectly like clockwork it was just the east side was just not happening and that comes with management. They have to figure out what they're going to be doing on that side when things do not go right. And it, like I said, when I asked the driver, it's a continuing thing. So like I, like I said, try to be very cautious of taking a red bus at all times because you could lose out on your money. They're not going to call you either. You got to go out there and call them yourself. So just giving you a little tips on taking the red bus at Glacier National Park. Thank you guys for watching. Please keep subscribing to Coast Guy Adventures and also follow me on Facebook and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, subscribe and I will see you guys later.